Puma Sway 305, blah, 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 and I am back. <laughs> yeah, we got to be a cat today because we are, no, we not. I'm not going <laughs> to say I'm that, man. I don't think I've been that for a couple of days or at least a week. But uh, shout out to everybody out there in Puma world, man. Let's get straight to the shits. Um, we got, uh, <laughs> that's fucked up that I forgot the name of the, both of the shoes already, but hey, fuck it. You know, I, you guys know I'm good at, uh, like t telling you how they look. I'm really not good at that shit either, but, uh, we got the flames, uh, Puma suede. He got like, it's black, got a little gold on it. Got a red flame fire. I don't know how fire the shoe is. At first I was thinking like, I don't know if I'm gonna get that shoe or not, but I looked at it a couple times. I might just get it, you know, content, um, and then there's a, 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 a shoe more in my alley, pause, um, that comes out the first. I think it's called, I can't remember the fucking name of that shoe, man. It's like blue and pink, like kind of like pastel colors. I used to have a suit like that back in the day when I was like five. So I'm definitely going to get that shoe. That shoe is pretty dope too, guys. Um, but let's get straight to this this shoe, man. This shoe is a, a, a Clyde, guys. This is a, the Scarface. I really don't know the exact name, but it will be in the description. <laughs> I just really wanted to talk about this shoe, man, because this shoe is definitely, definitely dope. And like, I couldn't wait to uh, to um, talk about this shoe. And I don't even think this shoe is a Clyde. Like, that's why I like how I do these uh, <laughs> descriptions and shit, and tell you guys about this shoe because a lot of fucking times I don't even know. Let's actually look at the box and see what kind of shoe this is and see if it's a Clyde or is it actually a Puma suede. I I don't even think this is a Clyde. This is a suede actually. This is a suede Scarface white, black, and red. So this is a suede. So this is even better. I actually thought this was a Clyde man because uh because of the leather and shit. But this is actually a suede. Shout out to uh Puma for making this shoe because. A lot of times the suede's don't really uh they're not they haven't really been like real like I don't know like unique or I don't know man this shoe is just to me this shoe is really dope like it's it's a little bit more basic but overall man this shoe is really dope you got half leather right here Tony Montana suede then it has a the picture of Tony Montana right here and then this side is uh, actually suede so this shoe is really, really dope, man. Like, I, come on, man. Here we go again, man. Here we go again. Hold on, man. I keep getting fucked, man. Like, no, nah, I, I <laughs> this is like some type of glue or some shit, man. I have no fucking idea, man. We're going to try to work that off on our own time, man. I'm not going to fuck this shoe up like that already. But like just the little small things like the scar face around the gold line right here around the shoelace it's just really the little thing and then this is actually like metal this is hard it has a shoe uh palace or uh, some shit like that <laughs> where i got my other shoes from like las vegas but this shoe is really dope man the world is yours i don't know man you guys have to tell me guys what you think about this shoe uh i give this shoe a five i definitely give this shoe a five this is one of the more doper ones that like this this snuck in pretty late for the end of the year man to be a really dope shoe man we just got a lot of shit to talk about i guess that's why i'm trying to <laughs> speed up because i've been seeing in the uh the algorithms about uh people watching like a minute of my videos that's why a lot of you motherfuckers don't know about um <laughs> the giveaway man you see i'm cussing this shit this 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 video all over the place man but sh shout out to the people that know i'm all over the place all right, man. Like I said, a lot of you motherfuckers is only watching a minute of the video, so you guys don't even know about this great giveaway, which I'll say at the end of this video. But first, we'll get into sports. Shout out to Draymond Green for doing some dumb shit again last night, man. Like at the, like at this point, man, this motherfucker just out there filing people and just kind of like that's all he wants to do. He like a personal file. Like soon, as soon as they start the game off, they should just give him a a flagrant file and like. <laughs> they just start him off with like a flagrant file like because like every it seems like it, it within a month he just do some dumb ass shit and then i think they they paid him too they paid his motherfucking ass like i'm cussing like shit like <laughs> but they paid him and he's still out here doing dumb ass shit 
And I, I really don't think a lot of these basketball players, man, this is another thing I want to touch on right now. Like, like I said, the league is in a shaky place right now because Adam Silver wants to push the league in like a more fan-friendly, up-and-down, scoring, like kid-friendly, and then the players are just on a whole nother type of time. Like some of the players are, it's either you got John Morant with the guns, John Wick, you got him doing all that stupid shit. Then you got Ben Simmons, lazy ass, really don't want to play. Then you have Zion Freaky, and he don't really want to play. He just want to kind of like watch porn and and, <laughs> and and be with porn stars and eating shit. Then you have uh, uh, Kai, Kawhi Leonard. He, he, he always hurt. And then like it's, he wants to set out a bunch of games. It's just a lot of the, 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 the way the players are treating the league right now is fucking it up, man. Like, and this is a time when they uh, rest in peace to David Stern, man, because if he was in there, <coughs> he was a tough little guy, man. He wouldn't be playing all this shit, man. Like if you in there messing around that you messing up the money, man, he going he gonna to find you really heavy or let you know you're going to be up out of this league, man, because we trying to help you all get as much money. We trying to bring as much money to the table as possible. But it seemed like Silva's taking like a little bit more kind of like more friendly approach to these players and letting them keep doing shit and keep doing shit like it's like he's afraid to really punish somebody really severely. And what is going to end up happening is actually hurting the league right now. And it's like even to the players like they don't even, it's like they don't respect money at all. Getting fined 50 and 6 it's people that even 20,000 it's people that's all they're going to make in a whole year. Even fifty to sixty thousand—that's some people's whole yearly salary. And it's like these players don't care. If like Draymond Green, he's going to get fined for this, so he's probably up until the two. Probably, by the year over, he's probably going to be around two, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars just getting fined. And they don't care because they make that shit a game. A lot of them make that shit a game, so it's like these little bitty fines ain't even bothering them. So. I really don't know what they're going to do about that situation in the NBA right now, but like they got to figure out something. Like it's been the, the like the this year has been kind of stale anyway. Even the in season championship game, it really wasn't that hype. Then even though how they showcased that game with Kevin Hart, I did not like that shit at all. I want a regular announcers <laughs> and just a regular like format because I I, I I guess that's just what I'm used to and plus they was talking over the game and it just was it was it was okay they could have did that for like maybe a quarter but not the whole fucking game man so I don't know NBA y'all looking kind of uh, shaky NFL looks good man shout out to 49ers the uh the Browns one everybody that looked good throughout the week because that's kind of old now we got Thursday night football I don't know who the hell play um and then we'll get into worldly news <laughs> shout out to charles the white man hitting people with pots and microphones and all type of shit man that could have got really bad for him in that in that situation that showed that he really does need security and another thing that he needs to know is like if you don't have security even if you do like you can't be hitting people with anything like i understand they saying stuff and it's threatening but you increasing the threat level by hitting them with shit like you only move when somebody moving towards you to actually do something. They was kind of standing in front of the stage heckling you, which I think if 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 it would have just been that back and forth, eventually like them promoters would have got up there, somebody would have got up there and kind of like like cut the situation, or he got to be smart enough to kind of get himself out of some of them situations, especially if you're not gonna have uh, security and shit, man. That could have been really bad for him, and he could have messed up. Uh, he could have got his friend hurt, which he ran anyway. He punched somebody and ran. <laughs> was a Dewberry? He ran. But that could have been a, definitely a bad situation. Um, and outside of that, it's just a lot of weird, like, people telling King Yellow. A lot of, a lot of just weird, like, ghetto. <laughs> I ain't playing these ghetto games with uh, content either, man. Like, a lot of, like, uh, the shit people are saying and doing. But, like, uh, people are calling people snitches and all this shit on, on the internet. I just didn't understand. I don't understand how the streets got to the, like, like blogs and all. It's like people that don't even really rap. And it's just a mess right now as far as content on the internet right now. Everybody is real negative And nobody's just getting back just to having fun and just kind of doing what they do, man. But I don't know. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit unmessy on my channel as we can. You guys can crack on me at any time because, as you see, I'm all over the fucking place today, man. I'm still putting this fucking video out, too. <laughs> I'm putting it out raggedy as hell. Let us get to the goddamn, uh, sorry, Lord. Let's get to the, um, 
the giveaway the giveaway is really easy to win man all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment on my videos and you know like you know like it i really won't know if you like it and just kind of like show support it's two people that's way ahead of the, the the curve right now i don't see how another person could could creep in and kind of even be in the, the contention because i said i'm only uh uh like um buying shit for two people and it's two people that's way ahead of everybody else right now so shout out to those two people i'm pretty sure they know who they are and if you keep up the good support and uh all that shit you will be the winner but you, you damn near already are the winner because we only like a week or something away and the only other thing i have to say is on instagram i think i'm going to do a giveaway and my idea of doing that giveaway is i'm um, going to be i'm going to try to see uh i'm going to put it out there like i want to uh people to post a picture of all of their shoes on Instagram. Now, this isn't an actual giveaway yet because I'm gonna try to see how I'm gonna try to put it, but I wanna, I, I think I wanna put it like, um, I want somebody to post a picture of all of their shoes. And I just wanna see, the, the whoever has the dopest picture of all of their shoes, that'll be the winner and it'll be, of course, I'll buy a shoe. That'll probably be my next giveaway. So hopefully a lot of the people that are on my, um, my subscribers on my, YouTube can kind of transfer over to Instagram, Instagram to YouTube, and all that good shit. But hey, this is Puma Sway 305. Like, share, and subscribe. I don't care if you like, share, and subscribe. Today was a wacky day for <laughs> the, of a video, man. Shit is all over the place. But hey, we fight through it. Peace.